There, uh, there's this word in Portuguese that is miséria, and, is, and miséria is below poverty, right? So when you're poor, you have you know a home, you 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 can you you know you have food and you have all this stuff, and miséria is under that. Mm -hmm. So right now, Brazil has you know in this past eight or uh, decade or so, the 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 incidence of miséria has has uh, diminished mm -hmm. by a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so in that respect, you know, Brazil is getting better. Mm -hmm. um, and that, of course, was with a lot of protests, you know, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. instead of fixing roads or doing this or doing that, mm -hmm. things are happening where people don't see it, right? Because people don't... So mm -hmm. that's another... Mm -hmm. whole other mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. Can you, tell me a little bit more about about the whole race mixture and how people perceive each other and themselves. Like, what do they tell you? Okay, well, because there's a lot of uh, a lot of mixing in Brazil. I mean, there was no segregation. There was no outright racist movement like the KKK or you know like you have here. So because there there's none of that, uh, you know, there's a lot of mixing. So people. People don't. People say that race doesn't exist, you know, because oh well, people call me white all the time, mm -hmm. and you know I, I know I'm mixed, but how can you, like, if if any white American looked at me, no, none, none. There is no chance that they would say that I'm white. Right. But back home, people say I'm white all the time because it's just because of the color of your skin. So you know, someone can be darker than me because they go to the beach or whatever. And they'll say, you know, oh, I'm darker than you. Does that mean I'm black? And like, of course not, you know. And and then they just, they just sort of twist the whole issue in a way that they're saying that there is no race in Brazil. You know, there, there's no race. There's so much mixing that. Mm -hmm. um, and so how do you how do you tackle racism if there's no race? You know, how do you how do you tackle it if there's no uh, if people don't say that it, it exists, mm -hmm. don't recognize it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, but like we were saying, you know, how do you justify the fact that all these, you know, black people and you know, and, and mixed mm -hmm. people, and the, the biggest percentage of the population are poor and they're all black, and how how do you, you know, how, how do you say that's that it doesn't exist? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's right there. Mm -hmm. Oh well, you know. Uh, they're, they come from slave background and they didn't work hard or whatever and you know two percent of the population uh, I, don't, I don't know the exact numbers but a very small percentage of the population in Brazil is middle class or up mm -hmm. so you know out of uh, 200 million people like they're all lazy they're all you know it's it's weird it, it doesn't make a lot of sense mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but yeah, that's what my dad, you know, used to say. That the, I mean, I mean, that's he used to say a lot of things. Mm. But that's I don't know. That stuck with me for some reason. Like, how do you tackle an issue that people won't uh, people won't admit exists? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and that's the whole that that's that was his biggest battle. You know, to to tell people that it exists and to convince people that that they are black. Because, you know, like they said in the panel, I mean, um, anything, anything that associated with with black or, or African culture is automatically bad. You know, the Christian thing with the devil, and mm -hmm. you know, the, all African religion is mm -hmm. from the devil and stuff like that. So people don't want to admit they're black. I mean, uh, Neymar, which is one of, one of our biggest players right now. Uh, there was an incident where, where you know, threw a banana at the, at the field or, or something, or they were sh uh, shouting racist remarks, and you know they say, well, how how do you how do, how did that affect you? And he's like, oh, it didn't affect me because I'm not black. And it's just you know, it's weird. It happens. A lot of black people don't say that they're not black. They say that you know they, they use the guise of uh, of mixing mm -hmm. to say, well, I'm not black. I'm mixed. So that doesn't. That you know, mm -hmm. I, I don't deal with racism because I'm mixed, and it's it's mm -hmm. weird. It's it's very complicated and mm -hmm. you know uh, cloudy. Mm -hmm. You know the whole 
uh, racism thing. Yeah. Let me ask you, how do you... How